Well, we've called the book Building a Capable State, and particularly with an emphasis on service delivery, primarily because it's a pretty fundamental assessment of how South Africa has been over the past 20 years, in fact more like 23 years. So we're looking at really how the state has performed. Deciding to write the book, uh, I personally was influenced by my colleague, Susan Ponell, who's a professor at UCT. She and I have worked together for a long time and she has been keen for me and my other colleague, Nishendra Moodley, to put down our experience over these past years. We've been working with this government, parastatals, public entities. Well, we started this book about in 2013, 2014, mm -hmm. and that was before, uh, I think, the real crisis of state capture, and let's call it political crisis, if you want to use the word, existed. Mm -hmm. So what we were doing in writing the book, we weren't really responding to a particular crisis. We were trying to look at the whole 20 years in continuity over the various phases that the state has been through. Yes, of course the big question is, uh, we're trying to answer is, do we have a capital mm -hmm. state? Mm -hmm. And our answer is, in our book, in the last chapter, is yes, but the reason for the but is, first of all, that there are, there's a transition over time, as I've just mentioned, so there's a transition from success in an internationally uh, reputable stage of new policy development, new age, the new era of democracy, to a progressive um, heading towards the state capture. So there's a, a transition over time, there's also a transition over space. In other words, our cities are generally held to be successful, and we've argued that they are, by international standards, successful cities. On the other hand, in rural areas, um, local government and service delivery is actually quite poor and it's uh, you know, a lot of, of um, infrastructure related services are in a bad way, water, uh, water supply being an example. So you have this transition over time and, and space which uh, means it's capable in some places and not capable in other places or other times.